This video will describe the sample size determination statlet added to StatGraphics Centurion version 17. The sample size determination statlet calculates the required sample size needed to do one of two things. The first choice is estimating a population parameter with some desired precision. For example, estimating a mean to within plus and minus 10 percent. The second is testing a hypothesis about that parameter with some specified power. The statlet can determine a number of observations needed to estimate or test a normal mean or the difference between two means, a normal standard deviation or the ratio of two standard deviations a binomial proportion or two binomial proportions, Poisson rates, and also the required sample size for doing a multiple comparison of several means using Tukey's HSD procedure. It will tell you how many samples you need to estimate a correlation coefficient and also how many you need to estimate CP, CPK, or CPM. The first example I'm going to talk about concerns the correlation coefficient. The correlation coefficient rho is a measure of the strength of the linear relationship between two variables x and y. A common test performed on the correlation tests the hypothesis that rho is equal to zero, which implies no relationship, versus the alternative hypothesis that rho is not equal to zero, which implies that x and y have a linear relationship. If you collect n pairs of xy values, the standard test creates a t statistic. We might ask ourselves, how large a sample size do I need such that I'll reject the null hypothesis of no relationship 90% of the time if the absolute value of the correlation is 0.3 or greater. To find the required sample size, I've loaded up Stat Graphics version 17. I'm now going to go to the Statlets menu and choose Sample Size Determination. This opens up a Statlet window where I can set my choices on the Statlet toolbar. The drop-down list at the left is where I specify the parameter of interest, which in this case is the correlation coefficient. I can base my sample size calculation on the absolute error, the relative error, the power, or even input my own value n. In this case, I'd like to control the power. The null hypothesis for the correlation coefficient was that it equaled zero. I'm going to run this test at the 5% level. I can change that with this slider bar if I want. That'll impact the sample size. In this case, I'll stay the standard alpha level of 5%. The alternative hypothesis that I specified was that the correlation coefficient was in absolute value 0.3 because it was a not equal alternative hypothesis, I'll leave the type set here at a two-sided hypothesis test. This slider here controls the power of the test. My requirement was that I have a 90% chance of rejecting the null hypothesis when the correlation was 0.3, so I'll leave the power at 90%. The graph is now displaying the required sample size. It says that I need 113 pairs of XY values to achieve what I wish to achieve. The curve displayed is the power curve and it shows that if the correlation coefficient is 0 0.3 that I have a slightly better than 90 percent chance of rejecting the null hypothesis. 
slightly better because it needed to find an integer value for n. You also see displayed below a 95% confidence interval for the correlation coefficient if the estimate happened to turn out to be zero. The second example I'm going to talk about concerns the estimation of the capability index CPK. CPK arises when we're sampling variable data, such as the diameter of a medical device, and we want to know how well the distribution of that variable conforms to specification limits. If we have two specification limits, an upper spec and a lower spec, then CPK is the minimum distance from the specification limits to the mean divided by three times the standard deviation. Many companies feel that if they have a CPK of 1.33 or better, the quality of their product is acceptable. A question I'd like to pose now is, let's suppose that CPK is 1.33. How many devices do we need to measure to estimate that capability index to within plus and minus 10% with 95% confidence? To answer the question, I'll return to stack graphics. I'll set the parameter to be estimated to the capability index CPK. I'll also tell it that I want to set my sample size based on relative error. Null hypothesis is where I'll control that relative error, in this case when CPK is 1.33. An alpha level of 5% corresponds to a 95% confidence interval, so that's good. The type field allows me to select either a two-sided confidence interval, a one-sided lower confidence bound, or a one-sided upper confidence bound. I'll choose the two-sided confidence intervals. And finally, I can set the relative error. That's the width of my confidence interval. It's set to 10%, which is what I want. Stack Graphics has determined that I'll need to measure 218 medical devices to achieve this desired result. Down below, you see the confidence interval that I would get if in fact CPK turned out to equal 1.33, the confidence interval would range from 1.197 to 1.463. The sample size determination statlet answers the question so often posed to statisticians, how much data do I need? 